Okay, now let's solve an example for the stream function concepts that we have covered. Okay, so in this problem, I'm given the velocity field for a steady, which means it's not a function of time, and incompressible flow in a corner. What I mean by corner is I'm just trying to obtain these kind of stream functions you will see. And the velocity is given to me as ax i plus minus a y j. Okay? And the question is determine the stream function. Okay? That's the question that I'm being posed. Now, first of all, let's look at the how velocity and the individual components of the velocities in the directions are related. What you can see over here is that this u will be a of x and this v will be equal to minus a of y. Then that's right, u is equal to ax and v is equal to minus a y. Okay. And from the chapter where we discuss the stream function concept, you will know that this is the relationship of the velocity in the x and stream function and velocity in the y and stream function as well. So now I have an option. I can just plug this u into this equation or I can simply go ahead and plug this v into this equation. Okay. So you have a choice here. Okay. The final answer obviously will not be a function of which the last component you start with. Okay. By convenience, and as the letter U is earlier in the alphabet than the letter V, I'm going to start with the first one. Okay, so I'm going to just pick up pick up A of X, and I will insert this over here and see what happens. Okay, and I got myself a stream function of X comma Y. It's not a function of T. It's given in the question statement. Is equal to A X Y plus. Remember, this is a partial, not a derivative. So I'm going to get myself an F of X right? I got myself x because I accounted for y variance of the stream function in the relationship as well. Okay, so let's take a minute over here and take a look, okay? The stream function now I obtain, this is a function, I obtain as a function of another function over here, right? That's an accomplishment in a sense that this is a function, the stream function is a function of x and y, this is just a simply f of x, right? However, I'm not quite done. I should be able to approach this by finding this f of x, okay? So let me do it. I'm just going to plug the string function into the second equation, and you can see the arrow over here, how the v will be inserted. So if I follow this, I should be able to obtain myself what f of x is, okay? Let's just do it. v, which is minus a y in the question statement, is equal to minus of del a x y plus f of x with respect to x, right? Okay, now, the left hand side, well, negatives cancel each other, so let's start by that. a y is equal to, what is the partial of a x y with respect to x? It's going to be a y, right? Plus, what is the partial of f of x with respect to x? That's, I'm going to just put over here as a placeholder, f prime of x, okay? Now, what I'm going to say, f prime of x is equal to d fx dx. Now, I have a question. Did I make a typo over here? This is derivative. However, these are partials, right? Should I have used partial over there? The answer is no. I don't have to, actually, because take a look at how the function is. This function is only a function of x, so that's actually the de definition of derivative, right? The derivatives of an f of x with respect to x, so I'm fine, okay? And one thing to note over here is when I'm taking the integral of f of x, I'm gonna get an integration constant of the last c as opposed to a function, okay? Good. So then these two cancel, I get myself f of x is equal to d f x dx is equal to zero. So from here, 
what kind of function satisfies this relationship the, the derivative of that is zero well that is actually this a constant okay so when it's all said and done you will see that this stream function turns out to be a function of both a x y plus sc okay actually if you go ahead and plot this function a x y plus c depending on your value of a and c you will get these type of curves okay and as the question said before that it is a flow at the corner that's what they're trying to say okay so these will be my streamlines when i have a and c are different values and in real life that's how the flow happens in a corner